Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here from AXC Garage. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a 2021 Acura TLX A-Spec for some Type S upgrades. Let's take a look. All right, guys, to start off, we have a brand new Type S front lip along with these two pieces, supporters, that goes on the bottom of the bumper. Right next to it, rear diffuser that replaced the factory A-spec one. Look really, really nice with these fins here. So let's go ahead and get the car up in the air and get started. So in order to put this lip on, you're gonna have to take off the bumper to do it the right way. Otherwise, you're never gonna gain access to the screws or the clips properly. On this uh, bumper, there's a seri series of clips. One, two, three, four, and the same thing on the other side. And so a clip tool just like this, we'll put in the description, makes it super easy to get them off and not damage the clip so you can reuse it later. And then this will unclip just like a bumper. And then we'll just gotta kinda yank it. And then it comes right off. So then under here, we have these under brackets. You have uh, one clip here, one clip here, and these have to be removed to gain access to the actual bumper. So it's, the bumper is kind of like two parts. You got the top grill area, and then you got the bumper itself. Then you're gonna have a screw right here. Then we'll just push down on this clip, this one as well, and it comes right off. So continuing with the clips, we have one that holds the bumper here that's hidden once you uh, remove that bracket. There, and then we have a 10. And that's released from here, that's ready to go. So to remove the clips inside of the bumper, uh, you're gonna wanna use this right here now. Sometimes if it's on an older car, these clips will break, so it's good to get a replacement set. But since it's newer, they're all intact. Then you have a screw right in here. If you don't want to tear this up, you take a little flathead and you gotta push this to the side, right? and then you just wanna get this underneath the bumper and that black retainer, and then it releases the clip, right? And then as we come up, try our best to release those clips. And you can see we're good to go. So underneath we have three bolts and then just a bunch of clips. The best way to get this off is to not just pull and pull, it's to really yank it off from here and from here and give it a good pull off and then it snaps off easily. And then over here you'll have one connector. Okay, and then that will release the whole entire bumper. It's good to go. It's a good idea also to get a bumper stand to do the work on. You could get them for relatively cheap. That way you're not working on the ground.
All right, so once we got the front bumper upside down, all we have to do back here is to remove this grill right over here before we can remove this weather stripping and then the front panel right over here. Now, on the front grill, uh, just uh, two connectors, one on each side over here for the parking uh, sensors, the harness, we gotta put it out of the way, and then just some Phillips screws all along the side. All right, so once we get the grill uh, partially released from here, all we have to do now, we have a couple of screws, one here, one here, and just a few taps, along with some clips on the bottom, in this piece, right over here, along with the weather strip, to pop forward. And just like that, the very last piece of the A-spec bumper has been removed. Now, next up, let's go ahead and mount up the brackets for the Type S lift. All right, so next up, we got the Type S lift right over here and also these bracket. Now, these two bracket, one left side, one right side, need to slide onto the lift first. Then after this, we will slide the lift along with the bracket onto the bumper. So once you get this together, all you have to do is just slide right onto the bumper. Alright, so next up we uh, gotta put back the two screws, one on each side. Man, the A specs coming along really nice with the Type S lips. Oh man. And A spec got the fog lights over the Type S. What do you think, Ron? Oh, absolutely love it. I mean, it really steps up the front end on this car. It's a naturally good looking car with that lip. It really just adds a nice little spice to it. You know, when it comes to the Acura Honda game, um, we always want the Halo car, you know, whether it's a Type R or Type S. And in this case, the Type S is the Halo car. So it's, uh, it's nice to be able to add this accessory to pay tribute, you know, to the king, you know, so good job. So next up, let's go ahead and put the rest of the stuff back.
All right, so we are all done with the Type S front lip. Let's go and move on to the rear diffuser. All right, so the rear bumper is much easier to take off than the front. All we have here, cover over here, we gotta pop that out. It's a 10 millimeter screws on both sides. We got some screw along the side and a couple of clips on the bottom and the rear bumper is gonna come right off. All right, so here we have the back of the rear bumper. So all we have to do now, pretty simple, a couple of 10 millimeter screws here, some clips. Uh, I know we have a couple of screws, one here and one on the other end. And, and then a few of these, uh, these tabs here and this whole entire piece would just pull down. And then the new piece go back just like how we remove it. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, guys, there you have it. The Type S versus the A-Spec rear panel. Man, the Type S definitely looks like a good, good looking diffuser in the back. What do you say, Ron? Oh, I love it. You know, obviously the A-Spec is clean, you know, it's subtle, but the Type S, you know, definitely adds a little bit of that aggressive look, the aggressive appeal. It's gonna be a good look. So the Type S rear diffuser can go back exactly how we removed the original one. Pretty simple. bumpers and we are not done yet. Let's move on to the next item. All 
All right, guys, so next up, we have a set of BC coilovers, same coilover system that we installed on a blue TLX. Let's go ahead and open the box. All right guys, so here's the BRBC coilover system. Some of you guys are pretty familiar with it already. We have done it on our blue TLX project. Just in case you guys miss it, we'll go ahead and put a link up here. And also down in the description, those links right there will include all the installation on these BC coilovers. So let's go ahead and get the car up in the air, get the wheels off and get these installed. So next up, we'll go ahead and remove the strut. We'll work from the bottom, then work the way up. All right, so we got the rear suspension removed from the vehicle. Um, the only thing we will do now is swap over this top heads here from the rear strut to the BC uh, coilover shock. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, guys, so we are all done with the suspension, front coilovers, and then the rear coilover and the shock. Everything's all in. Next up, let's go to the wheels and tire machine and see what we got there. All right, guys, we got the wheels and tires right over here. John, what do we have here? We have me. I'm a beautiful man, by the way. Um, also, we have these very nice wheels. So our style has always been an OEM Plus kind of style. So we've always been in love with the factory NSX wheel, the Y spoke, and the Type S optional wheel is that in a 20 inch. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be mounting our TPMS and putting the tires on and getting this ready. We've used this same style wheel on Mike's personal FK8, we use all front NSX wheels, and this is the wheel we really like for our cars. And guys, just like that, wheels and tires is all done. John did a really good job getting those things mounted for us. And next up, let's go and get them mounted on the car. Then we're gonna adjust the height.
All right, here we have it, guys. Uh, BC coilovers, we put it in as the factory preset. The front end, it is a little low, so we're gonna have to bring that up a little bit. And then the back is a little high. We're gonna get that down maybe another quarter inch or so to match the front. But so far, looking really nice with the white spoke wheel. Really like the new look. What do you say, Ron? All right guys, so after a few adjustments, we got a suspension completely dialed in. We got about a finger gap at the front fender and also at the rear. Let's go and take the car outside and take a better look. All right guys, just like that, we got some Type S enhancement on this 2021 Acura TLX A-Spec, including the Type S front lip, the rear diffuser, the wide spoke wheels, and also enhanced with some BC coilovers. What do you say, Ron? Oh, I love it. You know, uh, I wanted to go with the OEM++++, just because number one, you can't go wrong with the fitment. The fitment is spot on, literally the Type S lip, front and rear diffuser, both of them perfectly with the uh, Type S wheels, uh, which which matched up perfectly. The thing is, we all want the Halo cars, the Type R's, the SI's, you know. The Type S in this case is the Halo car to that. So, and I love the way it looks factory-wise. Just want to add a little bit of touch to it with the coilovers. Looks good. Looks I good. think this will wrap up this video. If you guys like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up. If you want to support us, go to our website, www.acurehonaclassic.com. Pick up some shirt and also some sweater. My name is Mike and I got Ryan right over there. On behalf of AXC Garage, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one.